Hi everyone on that side of the screen. Yeah, yeah, previous model German truck Unimog is still in work. So today I will show another model that I have already completed. It is a tractor, German tractor, uh, Lance Bulldog production mini art in 135 scale plastic model. Uh, two painting options, green or grey, uh, green one for Netherlands and grey as for German. Ok, here we can see details from grey plastic, it's all of them. Uh, also a few details from transparent plastic, we need uh, glasses from here, decals and in that small envelope metallic details, I will show you uh, them a little bit later. Let's start from the very beginning, uh, the basis of our tractor. I glued uh, these parts together and before we connect it, uh, these two blocks in one piece, uh, we need to remove extra putties that I earlier put uh, there. Yes, I use here a little bit of Tamiya's uh, putty for plastic models to cover some joints on details. And now I uh, use sandpaper usually grid from 600 to 1000 of or both of them. On another part there is no uh, sense to hide uh, these uh, gaps because uh, there will be more details uh, on there. So where is our cement? Oh yes, here it is. Let's apply a little bit of glue on these parts and connect them together. Ok, then this is photo etched in box details uh, was from that envelope extract some of them to use on our model, uh, then bend them uh, using simple modeling tools and uh, put on our model using a small amount of super glue in form of gel. Yeah, mechanism of the structure, I decided to upgrade it a little bit, I don't know why, but uh, just simple to upgrade. Uh, so now we can connect to our tractor some agriculture equipment or moreover a light anti-tank uh, guns, maybe, I don't know why, but, <laughs> but now we reached such an option. Ok, time for upper parts. Hood consists from several panels and the level of assembling here is on a very high level. We simply add small amount of glue, extra thin glue for plastic models and put our details on its place. Time for smaller details, caps, a lot of them on our steampunk or diesel punk is more correct, uh, tractor. Tweezers helps me a lot in work with uh, small details. Trying to connect a hood uh, on rear part and it seems everything ok with connection. Uh, smaller details over here, you have to be careful with them, because it is easy to break them. These pedals have to be connected together, uh, need to pay attention while assembling this unit. And now instruction tells us to take this platform, where the crewman's workplace located, Mini art gives us very high detailization. I loved uh, how these details look like. Uh, trying not to break our pedals, put the platform on its place and apply glue from the rear side uh, because it wouldn't be visible for us. Next step, different controlling mechanisms of our tractor and time to connect all big parts together. Well, it seems some gaps over there, I don't like gaps. So I decided to cut off extra plastic from the one side of our hood using a simply modeling knife to achieve better connection result. If we look in instruction, uh, we have achieved here uh, two assembling options, A or B. I choose option B for this model. Moving next, and uh, here is two interesting details, including smoke pipe. Both of them I put on tractor during the painting process to achieve a more quality painting. This interesting construction allows us to put uh, some agricultural equipment. Also there is uh, several photo etched parts. Headlights, there is also an option number two in this model. Uh, you can put headlights or not. I think that model with headlights are more interesting, so I choose this option. 
On the rear part of the tractor we have some other details. For example, steering mechanism, be careful with them because it's fragile. And finally, time for wheels. Two big wheels and uh, two smaller. Uh, well, this is uh, usual for any tractor in this world, I think. MiniArt gives us interesting uh, building system of our wheels. Small wheels consist from five parts, yes, and the big one from three. Uh, so it's a sandwich system, literally. Uh, why do they do that? Uh, I can say that uh, such a system allows us to achieve more uh, quality level of detailization. I mean protector on the tires, markings on the sides of the tires, so such a system gives us better result, better casting, than if uh, such a wheel is uh, cast in one piece. In the end we received such a cutie wheels. I put them on a model uh, just to demonstrate the whole result, uh, but uh, during the painting I will remove them back. And here we have today's result. Several photo-etched parts will be glued uh, on the painting model later. What we can say about this uh, mini art structure? Uh, not so many details in a box, maybe 200 or 300, I don't know, but it seems like that. There is also details from transparent plastic and uh, metallic details that makes assembling process more interesting very good level of detailization and good level of assembling. Uh, just in the very beginning we use small amount of putty, but model not so easy because of big amount of small and fragile parts. I loved the result of the work we reached. Next video in a one week uh, will be finishing of this tractor, it's actually painting, or maybe Unimog finally will appears on this channel. So thank you all of you for watching this video today. Good luck and bye.